Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Barbara, and I am a doctoral student studying science education. I also have 12 years of experience working in a zoo. Most of my job there was educating school students scientific content. When we talk about zoos, museums, nature centers, these types of facilities actually belong to informal education. Now, zoos are claiming that they increase scientific knowledge, that they promote sustainability and responsible environmental behaviors, and that they can emotionally reconnect people to nature. But there's a problem, and it's a big problem. Now, in schools, students are routinely assessed with tests or quizzes. In informal education, we're not using those assessments, so we actually don't know if there's any real learning gains happening or not. That's why I'm undertaking this project. I'm going to create an assessment tool that can easily be used in an informal setting to measure learning gains. For this project, I've partnered with John Ball Zoo, Michigan State University, and several teachers in the Grand Rapids area. Now, the zoo already has a program, which is an immersion week-long program for fourth and fifth graders. The problem is that they're only assessing the students at the end of the program of, did you like the program? Now, the teachers have to go through professional development even to be eligible for the program. And during the program, students get to conduct daily scientific animal observations. They do journaling every single day. And they do um, lots of question and answer time with the staff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a test. Pre and post test, I'm going to conduct teacher interviews and I'm going to collect those student journals. The tests are going to identify learning objectives set by the teacher, set by the zoo, and it's going to incorporate next generation science standards. I'm going to take the results from those tests and I'm going to statistically analyze them to look for significant learning gains. I'm going to take the journals and I'm going to qualitatively code them to look for student-identified perceptions in motivation increases to learn science, that the students feel that they've learned science, and that they've participated in these real-world scientific experiences. By the end of this program, I'm expecting to see an increase in understanding science. By the end of this program, I'm expecting to see that the students do, in fact, identify they feel more motivated to learn science, and that they've experienced real-world scientific activities. So I'm hoping that informal science education does, in fact, lead to meaningful learning. But unfortunately, we can only know that if we start assessing and measuring learning gains now. Thank you.